So we're going to start with making a rimpa, which is spice paste in Malay. It's full of aromatic ingredients, vegetables, herbs, spices like lemongrass, garlic, ginger, I've got shallots today, a bit of chilli, mint and coriander. So let's start. Right, so to prep lemongrass, you just want to peel away the tough woody outer layer. And inside it's got the really lovely tender really fake fragrant and um, bits of the lemongrass and then you just want to chop it really roughly into quite big pieces it's fine because it's going to the mortar and pestle later get really fresh up cool once peeled slice the ginger again just rough pieces it's all going in to be fresh and pestle anyway I'm leaving the seeds in because these aren't very spicy chilies, so should be fine. Cool, and going in last uh, are the stalks of the coriander. It's got so much more flavour than the leaves. Let's save the leaves for later. We need it for dressing, we need it for garnish, um, and then really lovely fresh cool mint. Right, so this is mortar and pestle. You can use a food processor, no one's judging. Um, I just like using a mortar and pestle because it brings out the essential oils and the flavours in, in the ingredients better. Um, top tip, use a towel, stops it from being too noisy downstairs. So we start with the most fibrous ingredients. So I'm going to start with the lemongrass and the ginger. Right, and away we go. And the shallots and the garlic. I'm going to add in the chilli. Right, so last of all, add in the chopped coriander stems. And the turmeric. So we've got the paste ready. I'm going to set aside half of it for the curry paste. So that's gonna form the base for the lovely sauce that's going over the rice. And then half of this, half of this, I'm gonna add about four tablespoons of coconut milk. One, two, juice of half a lime. Um, and the chopped mint leaves that we had just now. And that's just going to go in to our marinade for the chicken. I'm going to add a pinch more salt just to season the chicken. Stir it in. Right, and that goes over the chicken. It should be enough for about four large chicken thighs. I've got tiny ones here, so I've got five. So once we've got it all coated, put it in the fridge, let it marinate for minimum of four hours. I like to do it overnight. So it's just going to prepare the side salad. So slice them all really thinly. Right, very simple pickling liquid. So I've got half a cup of apple cider vinegar here. To that I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of sugar. Pinch of salt. Right, and then I'm just going to bring this up to the boil and let it dissolve. Right, so I've got the pickling liquid ready. I've let it cool down as well. Sugar's dissolved in it. 
half of it I'm going to pour over the pickles for 30 minutes and then the other half of it I'm going to use this as a dressing for the vegetables this is a herb mix of coriander and mint right. so I'm going to let this um, steep and that's going to be the dressing for our salad later cool I've got oil in a medium hot pan I've got the um, rumpa that we set aside just now so in it goes I want to fry this so it's really fragrant. Top tip um, wear your apron. You see, <laughs> I've put my apron on. It might go everywhere on a white shirt otherwise. Right, it's ready now. It smells really fragrant. I'm gonna add in the coconut milk. And then chicken stock. It smells so good. All right, season to taste. Pinch of salt. Uh, you want some sugar as well to balance out the flavours. I've got just a little pinch here. And lime. Right, smoking hot grill. Chicken on, skin side down. Right, and then leave it. So once it gets golden and crispy at the bottom, that's also when you want to stick and then we'll flip it over. Thank you. 